Welcome to part eight of our Blazor plus Syncfusion plus Dapper video series. In this part, we're going to look at adding cities, i.e. adding a detail record in a master detail form. Previously on the countries page, we opened another page to add or edit a country. With cities, we're going to take a slightly different approach this time using Syncfusion dialogues within the page to add cities. Let's have a look at the code for, for doing this. Just as a reminder, uh, we've got to the stage where we have a uh, countries and cities page with a Syncfusion drop down list here from which we can select a country. And we've also got a data grid down here that will eventually show the cities associated with the country we've got up here. What we're going to do now is add a button underneath the Syncfusion grid uh, to allow us to add cities. If you haven't already, start Visual Studio and open the Blazor Countries project. We're going to be working with the Countries and Cities uh, Razor file. And as we've mentioned, we're going to put a series of buttons immediately underneath the, the Syncfusion grid for cities. I've got the code uh, already copied, so I'll paste that in here. And that's going to be a little button that just says add a city on it. And then the on-click event is going to be add city. What that's going to do is open up a dialogue, a modal dialogue. Uh, which will enable us to add these information about cities. So let me put the uh, dialog code in here. And we're going to have a series of dialogues. Uh, we're going to end up with three or four. Um, and we can effectively stack them all up uh, underneath underneath the buttons here. So this dialogue is going to have a name of dialogue sit, add city. Uh, it's going to be modal and the visibility is going to be false. And it's going to use the add cities model and on a valid submit is going to use the cities save uh, event. It's going to have two text boxes. Um, one uh, is going to hold the name of the city. Uh, the float label type is going to be at float type, label type dot always, which means that the label, i.e. the city, city name here, will always float above the text box. Then we're going to have a numeric text box that's going to hold the population uh, for the city. And at the bottom, we're going to have a submit button. Now, in the that code section there's quite a bit to do um, and it'll appear a bit messy but it's just a series of steps but before we get to that part we need to consider two possible data type errors that we could uh, encounter the first is that the user tries to add the same city twice for a particular country and the second is that the user doesn't select a country before clicking the add button now, as we did for countries, we're going to check for duplicate cities uh, in SQL and then return a value of 99 if uh, the attempt to add a city fails or a, a value of zero if it's successful. So let's have a look at that in, in, in SQL Server uh, Management Studio. So what we want to do is add a new stored procedure. So I'm opening the database. Um, and countries and I'm going to add a new query and select the code for the stored procedure and this follows exactly the same pattern as we use for countries uh, slightly um, more no, more variables. So we've got the city name, we're passing in the country ID and the city population. 
and we're going to check, uh, we're going to select from cities where the city name is the name of the city we're passing in and the country ID is the country ID variable that we're passing in. So if, for example, Birmingham already exists in the United Kingdom, it'll throw a, uh, give a result of 99. But if we've got Birmingham added to the USA, for example, and there isn't a, an entry in there already, it'll go ahead and add it. So it'll then insert into the cities table with the various values and return the re result value of, of zero. So let's execute that to create the stored procedure. That's fine. We don't need that any longer. And we can go back to our code. So what we need to do now is look in cities service and add uh, the procedure for dealing with cities insert with duplicate checking. checking. Yes, I forgot to st state that uh, that stored procedure. Let me just refresh that. Is called SP cities insert with duplicate checking. So we need to add a new uh, function in here to deal with that. So I've got the code as usual. And we can put it under the, yes, we'll put it under the ordinary insert. We won't need the insert eventually because we'll always be using this one. So this is the a task. It's an integer being returned. Cities insert with duplicate check. And we're using the stored procedure insert with duplicate checking. So we're the parameters of the city name, the country ID, the population, and the return value. Now, of course, we need to add that to the iCity service as well. And I'll just add it in there. The other thing we need to do is if a duplicate is found, we'll need to warn the user. So in countries and cities back here, we need to add another dialog to warn the user uh, that they're attempting to uh, add a duplicate city. So let me take the code from here. So this dialogue is just going to pop up and say, warning, city already exists for this country. It cannot be added again. Uh, it's given a, a name and it's got a, an event called closed dialogue duplicate city. And we want to add another dialogue to uh, warn the user if they fail to select a country. Very similar, it's given a name and warning saying you must select a country from the drop down disk list. And that's also got uh, an on click event, closed dialogue, missing country. So with that, uh, we need to make some changes to the C sharp code. And we've got about five or six things to do here. We've got to declare all the uh, dialogues, so dialogue missing country, dialogue duplicate city, etc. Um, we need to declare the add cities object and add logic to open the dialogue when we click the add a city button, add the logic to handle the non selection of a country, add the logic to save the city, and add the logic to handle attempts to uh, add a duplicate city. So let's start off by just declaring the variables that we need up here. And it's these. So 
So we're declaring the dialog add a city, missing country and duplicate city. And we're adding the new uh, add cities object uh, so we can enter cities and return them to the to the database. The next section is to add the logic uh, for when we click the add a city button. Uh, I think I'm going to just pile this code down at the bottom rather than put it into anything that could possibly consider the logical logical sequence. So the when we click the add city button uh, it's going to check that the a country has been selected and if the user hasn't selected it it's going to show the missing uh, country dialog box otherwise it's going to open the add a city uh, dialog box then we need to handle the uh, non-selection of a country so the user tries to click add a city but hasn't selected a country so the missing dialog uh, sorry the missing country dialog will open and we need to close it uh, when they click OK and recognize the fact they haven't added one The next thing we need to do is add the function to handle what they do if they clicked add a city there's no duplicate they add the data into the dialog box for adding a city and then they click the save uh, button or the OK button on that dialog so it checks that they've uh, the, the city ID is zero i.e. they ha it doesn't it's not an existing city we'll deal with this is to uh, basically deal with the situation that we're going to use the same dialogue for editing as well as uh, adding so we're checking we're adding one and if it's an ad we get the selected country ID from the drop down box at the top then we enter we, we use the uh, city service to uh, try inserting with the duplicate check and if it's successful it'll add, uh, hide the hide the the dialog if it's unsuccessful i.e it comes back as 99 it'll then show the duplicate city dialog box and at the end of it it'll clear the variables and refresh the the grid and lastly Uh, we need a way to close the duplicate city dialog right I think that should be it so no errors down here let's run it and see what happens So we've got select a country. Let's choose France. Click well, add a city. Paris, and let's say its population is eight, seven million. Save, and that's Paris. If I refresh the grid. I haven't selected a country I click add a city I get a warning that I must select a country from the drop-down list let's select France again try adding Paris again and it says the city or rig Z exists for this country it cannot be added again so that looks that looks good Next stage will be to add a button to edit a city.